Good evening everyone. In this video tonight, let's ask our cards. Have you met your romantic partner already? Have you met your romantic partner? I have four tarot decks in front of me. Number one, two, three and four. If you'd like to participate in this reading, please think of a person and choose a deck. And take your time please. Okay, have you chosen your deck, the one that stood out first to you? Alright, so let's start with the deck number one. Okay. Deck number one, Sacred Indian Tarot. Let's ask. Have you met your romantic partner already? Have you met that one special romantic partner? Let's have a look. Okay, this card shows that you're thinking about the person a lot. You're thinking about the person a lot. It's in your mind. Maybe you're dreaming or maybe you have a sensation that the person is always with you. Like a uh, like imaginary friend, like some sort of spirit that is overlooking you. And, uh, you know, here I feel that you basically, what's happening is you're dreaming about the partner and it's in your, you know, imagination is in your maybe, you know, vibrational field, how they say it's very close somehow, you know what you want. But I feel that you are meeting maybe the wrong people. Um, still, you know, like you're still overcoming those challenges in, in order to meet that person, that special person. So I feel with these cards that you haven't met that partner yet. Because we, we see these little devils here little devils running around, some sort of uh, resistance here to some sort of monsters. So for me it seems like, you know, it's the wrong person. It's like you let somebody in your life, you let somebody in your life and then that person comes out not what you expected and you sort of start resisting that person and fight that person and maybe try to fix that person somehow and make it according to what you want the person to be in your imagination, your expectations. And it can be that, um, you know, it's like um, like inner conflict, also inability to, to understand, you know, whether this is the one or not the one. So it's still, it seems for me like it's still the pro, you're in the process of choosing, you're in the process of working out what you want. Um, well, you kind of know what you want is there somewhere, you know, like um, you have a like a vision, you have a feeling of what you want, but it's not 100% uh, formed. Uh, so like it's there, but and it's too much to uh, like, uh, you know, little devils, they are like um, obstacles, you know, and finding that partner. Uh, so I think you haven't met that person yet. Somehow it still doesn't feel like it for me. Let's ask for one card for advice. How can you meet that person that you're looking for? How can you meet that romantic partner that you're having in your... that you're feeling 
you know, who exists. You kind of know they are somewhere here. Mm, maybe energetically you feel it. Intuitively you feel it. Okay, what is the advice? Okay. Here. Well, first of all, uh, the advice I think is first of all that comes to my mind is beauty. Uh, you know, look beautiful, groom yourself, um, be in the go go out more. You know, go out more and uh, try to be um, visible more visible you know like the statue well it's not a statue it's actually a god yeah well i'm not uh, interpreting it by the hindu mythology as it's supposed to be i'm just interpreting by the pictures you know freestyle so uh this god is like a sculpture it's like a statue so it's for me, it's like it's uh, already more materialistic, so it went from the, you know, that intu intuitive shape, form, into something more materialistic, concrete. And I feel like this is you, you know, let's say you're a man as well, um, or a woman, it's applying for both. It talks more about, you know, basically seeing yourself more beautiful, loving yourself more, um, looking good, you know, and um, exposing yourself to beautiful places, beautiful people, I feel like it's a beauty, so maybe you might meet this person in a place like art exhibition, maybe you might meet this place uh, where people dress up, you know, where they have to dress up to go out, and um, I feel you have to... Um, be really uh, strong yourself, you know, to attract that person. Uh, you have to be um, very content in yourself and very happy with yourself, you know, to attract that person. And confident enough to basically just be there, um, be visible, and uh, enjoy the thing, you know, enjoy the process. And also it has something to do with um, a little bit of a worship. Now I'm thinking what about the worship? Maybe it's some sort of affirmations. Maybe it's some sort of mirror work. Maybe that sort of thing. You know, basically uh, I'm going to use here the law of attraction, the secret, Abraham Hicks philosophy. As everybody knows already that philosophy and most of the people use it and here also I feel like uh, you know you have to become that person uh, the same person that you want to attract so I feel here this lady invested in herself a lot in her physical appearance in her diet in her you know makeup in her clothes and in her positive mood how to say it's not I'm not saying to do plastic surgeries or something uh, and you know to go overboard with this but it's something but some like beauty you know beauty um, he will be in a place that is beautiful he might you might find him in a place that is artistic that is that you feel very good about a place that you feel very very good about and that is very colorful that is very beautiful and he will look at you, you he will look at you will pass by and he will look at you so something like that and it also can be a place of worship a place of worship so it can be uh, well depending it can be a church can be a temple it can be like um esoteric bookshop <laughs> i don't know 
things like that. Uh, but a place where you will feel at home and you feel good about yourself and it's your your place. It's not a bar, it's not a club, it's not work. I feel like it's more like recreational place related maybe with entertainment in a way like music, concert. How can you meet that person? And you have to be visible, you have to go out, you have to be with people. And you have to dress up and go to places where people dress up and, you know, have fun and that are artistic. Yeah. So that's what I'm getting from these cards. Um, yeah. Okay. And I'm also getting one more thing that this person is uh, based uh, somewhere. Let's say he's always in, how to say, he's always connected to one place. Like uh, he might be sitting in a, I don't know, in some place all the time. Let's say he will be associated with some place. Like he would work there, maybe, I don't know. But, and you would enter that place as a visitor, and you walk around, and he would look at you. So, things like that. Okay. So, that was deck number one. Now, let's move on to the deck number two and see what it says. This is deck number two, those who chose deck number two. Question is, have you met your romantic partner? Already. Have you met your romantic partner already? Okay. Here I feel so, yes, um, it feels to me that Okay, first of all, in the first card we have two people here sitting by the uh, fountain and, you know, she's playing the music and I don't know if it's him or her, but he or she is having some drinks here, some food and they're kind of chatting. So I think there was, uh, and we have two birds, little birds here. So it's like referring to, you know, you meeting that person and, you know, engaging in uh, long conversations, chats with that person, having a common uh, talk, how to say common interests maybe, you know, some very engaging uh, stuff and you love to talk to each other you know you love to talk to each other like um, if you go out somewhere let's say if you meet each other at some place you end up being together you know um, unconsciously subconsciously you know you end up being together let's say there's a group of people but you go to the side always and you end up talking um, <clears throat> So you seemed naturally to find that sort of pull to each other. And, you know, like, it seems that you just en end up being together. Um, you know, the temperance card here, we have this angel flying. It can either talk about, uh, and he's kind of carrying, you know, the, the lady here. So I think it can refer to you being in very good terms with each other. Your relationship is very calm, it's very peaceful, there is no any anger, no irritation, no, um, you know, arguments, it's no tension, no stress, it's absolutely perfect. You know, you are with this person and you feel at peace, absolute, absolutely at peace. And... Um, And there is this uh, sense that 
being with that person is kind of healing you. You know, the being with that person relaxes you. And being with that person makes you feel, well, like you mirror each other or you're meant for each other, that sort of thing. I think it's like... I always use a temperance card as a twin flame card because it's um, it's like um, the um, full complete each other. I don't know how to explain it. complete each other. You complete each other. There is some sort of flow between you, and also like a mirroring. And this also can refer to your spiritual connection, you know, because temperance is an angel. An angel is like from the other realm. And because of that, we can talk about that spiritual connection that you have and explain one that feeling that you belong to each other, that your souls um, belong to each other, well, that your souls are friends or your souls know each other, that sort of thing. And there is um, the continuation that you feel, uh, with some people you feel that, you know, you're just here with them and that's it. And there is like a barrier. But with this person, you feel like this lasts maybe to the previous lifetimes. This connection, it's, you cannot measure that depth of, you know, the feeling that you feel with that person when you're with that person. And the last card, it shows basically... Um, children and like a couple you know and there's like um, older people so you can talk about the family basically that you both are husband and wife or you both are married actually or you've been married or uh, there is or you live together you know you have maybe adopted children or or you know not adopted maybe real children your own children it can be that one children is uh, yours let's say and something like that, but um, it can be that you already are together, you know, you already are like a family, you already are maybe like uh, relatives, that sort of thing, very long term, very, how to say, very rooted, very stable type of connection here. And you can see these beautiful people sitting together, yeah? And that's coziness that uh, only you can feel that feeling of belonging, like a family. So feel, yeah, you've met that romantic partner, that twin flame or soulmate um, or karmic connection that is, you know, f coming from the other realm that is lasting Okay, I'll pull one more card as an advice, uh, although you don't need to find him or her, but let's see, what is the general advice for you here? Let's see. Okay, three of cups. Again, we have like a party going on here. We have a gathering. So I think it talks about being friends, about uh, being together, about loving each other, spending time together. And uh, having fun, enjoying, appreciating the time with this person. And uh, yeah, we have one man here with three girls in this card. And this card, you know, it can talk about third persons, etc. But it can talk about happiness and celebrations and like the, you know, you know, increase of love in your relationship, like the love has increased, or you can talk about positivity and great moods, so it's basically, I feel it's saying that just appreciate the time with this person, be happy and celebrate this time while you are together, there is nothing to complain about, there's nothing to search, you're basically, you should be just happy right now and celebrating. Also, another option is to be with other people. I don't know, now uh, it seems that you're together. One version is that you've been together, then there's been a break. And um, you're meeting through other group of people, you know, with each other. 
and with these cards it's kind of confirms this card saying that be with uh, that group of people that includes that person if you know what it's talking about you know well I hope it resonates I'm not sure uh, how to put it because um, not probably all the people will be married to their romantic partner but Maybe they're your neighbor or you know them through your family or something like that. Very close connection, very long-term close connection. Okay, so that was reading number two. Let's move on to the reading number three. Okay, deck number three, and this is Chinese tarot. The previous one, 1001 Night Tarot. <clears throat> the question is, have you already met your romantic partner? Have you met your romantic partner? Okay. Okay, here I'm <clears throat> getting that you really, really, really want to meet the other partner. You really, really want. It's very, very intense wanting. And um, maybe you're really trying hard to find that partner, you know. Well, here we see a person, you know, Nine of Cups is a wish card. And here the person is basically alone still. But he is kind of preparing these Nine Cups maybe for guests or for some other people. Like they're investing in some sort of dream or wish or something. But they're still alone, you know. And, um, and I feel they are getting ready for the big thing, for, for the party or something. Maybe... You're still in the in the moment, how to say, in the mode of creating that partner and that meeting, you know. Um, you're still contemplating that wish. And it's there very strong. You know, the lovers, the intensity is huge and it's interest, attraction. And, you know, I think... Uh, uh, can be... Uh, you know that you're looking for love everywhere. Let's see, maybe dating sites. Maybe you you are trying to find that perfect partner in every person that you meet. You know, maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one. You know, and I feel like it's very very um, focused into the romantic part, into the romantic side. You know, and the nine of staves. It just shows how hard you're trying and you're about to give up and you don't know what else to do and you're tired and it's annoying and it's saying just don't give up, don't give up yet, just as yet <clears throat> because everybody finds a romantic partner sooner or later, everybody, at least, at least marriage partner for sure. So, so I feel like it's a no here. I feel like it's a no, but I feel like you're intensively searching and wanting, and it's kind of you're in that mode, romantic relationship mode, like looking for romance everywhere. <clears throat> and I just want to pull one more card for an advice. Um, the advice would be. Uh, advice for you in finding a romantic partner or if you have to make a choice between several people and how to choose that romantic partner so what is the advice for you here whoa eight of staves um i feel here it talks about action actually you know, this card talks about action, it's, it's about uh, communication, it's about travel, it's about movement, it's about going out there, being more assertive, um, exposing yourself again to people, to, um, I don't know, media. And it kind of shows a lot of men here. A lot of men. Well, let's say if you're a man, then a lot of women, let's say. So, 
lots of people are there like to choose from you know lots of too many to handle too many to decide from like they overwhelm you with their number their number is overwhelming and they all look so pretty and beautiful and nice and you don't know which one is best um And also maybe they look a little bit unapproachable, like you're watching them and you don't know how to get there. But for sure, this card is to try and be uh, exposed to people, to communications, to chats, to, you know, media, or traveling, you know, basically doing lots of action in order, maybe deliberate action, in order to... Uh, meet this that romantic partner and also well just in case you already have someone on your mind and you let's say if you already have somebody on your mind and let's say you're in love with somebody I think it says to communicate with that person to be more assertive to try and um, talk to that person to say things you know to open your mouth and say things um, not just wait you know until that person does the first you know move so it's and be ready for the action it's like be ready don't block it because it's gonna happen. It's, I think it's gonna be happening. So let's pull one more card for this. Seven of Cups. Well, I feel this card actually is kind of about choices, but I think in this deck it's talking about passivity. It's like you should know what you want. You know, you should create that image, you should visualize the situation, that romantic partner, you should visualize how you want it to be, you know, uh, what kind, how do you want to feel with that romantic partner, how do you want to, you know, um, what kind of experience do you want to have with that romantic partner, what kind of depth do you want in that relationship, less than about appearance and exterior things, I think it's more important to know how you want to feel with that person how serious it should be, how long should it last, etc, 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 you know. So it's like, but physically, it's like he's not doing anything. I know I've just said do action and everything. But it can be also just talking about choices and things like that. So in this card we see actually a man resting physically but his mind is active so I think even if you have a person that you're interested in already it would be a good idea to visualize that person being interested in you too for example calling you one you know talking to you visualize visualize how they call you um, how you see their number on your phone how they talk to you, how you go out, uh, what a good time you have together, things like that. So maybe that will speed up things. Maybe that will clarify something. Maybe that will start moving the energy or something like that. Because sometimes uh, we can mess it up if we do not know exactly, if you are not ready, you know, 100% ready. And we start acting, it can go to the other direction. So be open, be exposed, and be ready for the communication. Don't block the communication part. Phone calls, Facebooks, install them in your phone. Be ready for communication. But also visualize. And physically, you don't have to do anything very difficult. Um, just dream, yeah? In this situation, just dream. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, that was this was reading number three. Let's move on to the reading number four. Uh, 
and this is the fourth deck. Uh, it's the Lenamard, Tarot Lenamard, I think. Yeah, it is. And the question is, have I, have you met your romantic partner already? Have you met your romantic partner? Okay, well, three cards. Have you met your romantic partner? Wow, Seven of Cups, it shows you dreaming. Queen of Pentacles, it shows you working. And King of Pentacles, I think you might have met this person. Um... No, I would say, have you met your romantic partner? I think yes, you've met your romantic partner. And this partner... Um, I think, well, we have him here, a, a real person in your life right now, who is your romantic partner. The cards are saying he's like your romantic partner. But the fact that he's holding the coin, that he's the king of coins, it can mean that uh, you're working together, you know him through finances, he's your client, he's your landlord, he's your boss, um, he's someone who supports you financially, he's a rich man. It can be, uh, it can be that he is a hardworking, reliable, practical man, who doesn't come up as very romantic and expressive and therefore you might think it's not him who is your romantic partner he might come up as someone very normal um, not uh, standing out too much how to say not standing out not very bright how to say he's he, he's a very nice person um but he wouldn't be very loud, you know, with his self-expression and everything. He would be very polite, very uh, normal, very taking it slow, you know, things like that. And he can be related to your finances now because you're also the queen of coins. You can talk about the fact that you work together or you ha you are in the same business or you're already together with that person because, you know, Queen of Coins and the King of Coins are kind of like a couple um, who are interested in the same thing which is can be sometimes mm -hmm. and, uh, but I feel like maybe uh, yet there is nothing right, like happening between you, like there is no maybe romantic relationship developing yet like this person is just there you know him and it's in your life and he is related through your finances but uh, I, I don't think there is more than that you know more than romantic relationship or something um, going on maybe it will happen later so let's pull one more card and see um, what does it say as an advice for you here? King of Cups. We have one more guy. It can be... Okay, if you like this man, if you are in love with this man, it can be that it's the man that you're in love with. You know, your romantic partner is the man you have a crush on, the man you're interested in, you know, romantically, and this can be that person. It can also indicate one more person, and um, I don't know who is he. Or it can also mean that this King of Coins will turn into King of Cups, which means from the financial aspect he will become like a romantic king so that means that your relationship will shift from formal 
too emotional. Can pull one more card. Now, um, I'm trying to make this for both genders, not only for females. So whatever I'm saying, it's applying for both. And um, it doesn't matter the core cards. Let's see, it's very difficult to decide. And look, the King of Wands, it's crazy. So uh, I don't know. We have three kings and you, and it's telling us, like an advice so either you work in some place that is full of men like an army or some factory or I don't know a, a place where only men are there uh, politics maybe and it shows lots of men I don't know maybe you have three romantic partners As an advice, it's like maybe look in the place where uh, you know there are men only. Look at that office or that building or where these people meet. So one of them might be your romantic partner. Also, you can talk about the fact that there are three guys in your life and you need to make a choice or three people in your life you need to make a choice or you have some sort of even competition going on between people you know who like let's see three men like you or or it can be that you like three men it's very very interesting you like three men or three men like you or you like a woman and she has uh, other mm, people who are interested in her so some sort of group of people involved in all this thing Okay, let's, I'm just pulling more cards because I'm not understanding with so many cords. Have you met your romantic partner? Yes. I think you did. It's someone from your past, someone you know long from long time ago, maybe your childhood, maybe like 10 years ago, from 10 years ago, long relationship. You know this person very well. And uh, you dine with this person, you socialize with this person, you have some sort of um, group of people who go out together, socialize together. And this is a card that shows that you belong in the group that has that person, romantic interest. And you might be dining out with that person or it's a part of your friends, you know, the group. Uh, of your friends that involves that person what is the advice here ace of cups well love is advice here just open your heart to love and enjoy the love enjoy the feelings enjoy the emotion and uh, i think it's saying that you already met that person and it's the beginning it can be the beginning of relationship it can be uh, uh go through your heart here it's safe to go through your heart here. It, you don't have to, you know, um, have control over your emotions here. You can just trust and be calm that this person will also um, understand and accept your feelings, or maybe they already do. Um, can also say that uh, this is the beginning of a relationship. And the prospects are very good. You know that this is an opportunity and you should take that opportunity. So, yeah, this is better. Please, uh, if you know who are these three men, if it makes sense, a man's place or something, if you have any clue what that can mean, I would appreciate if you can share in your comments, in the comments below.
yeah it's very very exciting to to hear okay this was my reading about have you met your romantic partner already thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you next time good night